All right, guys, so we are about to leave to go pick up the Mercedes at Concorso Detailing in Plano, Texas. And I've talked to the owner about uh, working on my 911 here. I've never had this professionally detailed or paint corrected. Um, this is not the original paint. This is a Daytona red, which is actually a Volkswagen color, um, not guards red. But, you know, there's a few spots here on the 911 that I wouldn't mind getting uh, looked at. Um, you know, this is a detailer, not necessarily a body shop, but you can see, you know, these, these side skirts are fiberglass here. So I've got a chip here and you can see some cracking. Um, there's a crack here, which runs in the, in the, on the fender. Uh, but you know, this is dirty. You can see spots here, but again, you can also see, um, how the paint is, you know, not great. Now, I don't know what they'll be doing between, what's that? What they'll be doing between um, this is fiberglass versus the steel so i don't know what all they can do there um but i'm kind of anxious to see what this will turn out and i want to get a little bit more closer up and see if you can see the paint you can see it in the reflection off the light that pretty swirly and um you know could really use a nice uh, buffing and um see what they do so we are going to get in the car and go pick up the mercedes i'm excited to see how it looks all indications are it's going to look awesome and then see what he can do with the 911. All right, so this is Tony from Concorso Detailing in Plano, Texas. Uh, he's taking care of my Mercedes, and now we're gonna drop off the 911. So Tony's gonna walk me through kind of what we're gonna do on the 911. Well, to start with, we'll get it nice and clean, and then from there, we'll do a complete polish, probably three rounds of polish. We'll start with a heavier cut, mid cut, then a fine polish to finish it off, uh, which will bring up the luster tremendously and even up the car from a, uh, a gloss standpoint. Then we'll come in and clean the wheels very, very well. And you'll see a huge difference in transition from those to more polished and refined look. Same with the detailing. We'll come in and do jams and get everything cleaned uh, to where you really enjoy it. Uh, when you get in and out of the car, it's something you'll notice. We come around to the front, we'll start up here and working on our um, trim. And the trim is something that obviously ties the car together in accents, and it will also really pop uh, when we get it nice and clean, get the irregularities out of it, and then uh, darken it and give it a little bit of, uh, of kind of a satin sheen and really bring that out. It uh, makes a wonderful highlight. And then combine that with getting the wheels and tires clean along with a really, really uh, a gorgeous depth that this paint has in it, and the package will be complete. You'll be really shocked uh, at how great it looks and uh, how original it will look as well. And then all you got to do is drive it. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's do it. I hear it. Tony, you've outdone yourself. What do you think? Oh my gosh. Did it come together? <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. Did it something? Wow. I was able to flatten it out. I and the paint takes some credit because it, it cooperated. Uh, oh, wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. If, if you've gotten your befores and afters, you'll be, you can see crazy. I'll tell you what, the pop. Uh, came, I mean, just it just kept working. Yeah, oh, it looks amazing. Yeah, you know, we enjoy working on it. Yeah, the and the uh, the trim here, like the the yeah, rubber. I mean, something that is amazing. When we were looking at it originally, I think I mentioned it. This is so that's something on this car that you now you look at it. Holy cow! Now a true Porsche person would probably have more regard for the quality of the trim fit than almost anything else. Cause this is one of yeah. the things, it doesn't deteriorate. Well, it gets to kind of a point where it doesn't go any, get any worse, but it loses a, a look. And this is all so consistent. Yeah. Get this 
wax on there. That looks great. We, yeah, we were in here last night, uh, or yesterday afternoon, uh, Jonathan Greg picked up his 993. He's got a blue 993 showing the founders that did the whatever the event is. Force is doing. And uh, we have to sit there and see each other. And this has got a whale tail. Yeah. His is a 97. guys so that's a wrap on the detail of my porsche 911 uh thanks to tony at concorso detailing here's his hat right here um did an awesome job so real happy with the results uh really deep shiny red but no real happy with uh the results what tony's done he's taking care of the mercedes he's taking care of the 911 i've even got him working on my yukon right now to uh correct some uh paint sitting under a tree so Thanks again to Tony uh, for everything that uh, he did. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go check out Tony. Uh, be sure to give him some business if you are in the Dallas, uh, Fort Worth area. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time.